and in, in, in honor of Breaking Bad. And so the new title is Breaking Mad. And maybe they should, that's what they should call the HP Solve, see, to popularize it. Of course, the talk is about my favorite uh, HP Prime uh, functions. Uh, playing with the HP Prime and all the functions, it kind of reminds me like being in the chocolate factory. There's so many good stuff. So thanks, Cyril, and all the teams, uh, people who did the, the work on the machine. Um, the uh, the HP Prime has two uh, math modes, the home, or also known as the math uh, uh, mode, and the CAS mode, and uh, Cyril talked about those earlier. Uh, typically, when you press the uh, menu button, you get uh, these menus, and the first two we're interested in, the, the family of math uh, functions and CAS functions. Um, this talk is sort of my selection of the functions is somewhat arbitrary, the stuff that kind of caught my fancy, so there's no deep rhyme or reason. And the first set of functions here is in the probability menu, and there's a random sub menu showing four options, number, integer, normal, and seed. And the first one will generate an, a random number and a range you give it, and the other one will generate an integer number in a range of you, you give it. And the third one will generate a uh, normally distributed uh, random number. Here's an example. I have the function random, and I want a random number between 1 and 100, so I specify the range, and it gives me a floating uh, point number. If I want the same range, but as an integer, then I use randint, specify the same uh, range, and I get 8. Uh, if I want a random, uh, normally distributed random number, I use randnorm. First argument is the mean, and the second argument is the standard deviation, and it gives me that number. So I thought those were, that was really cool, because typically you always had zero to one random number, and you had to scale it. So they did a little bit of work for you. That was great. The second set of uh, probability functions if you notice, there's the density, cumulative, and inverse menu. All three submenus work with the normal student t, chi-square, f uh, distribution, binomial, and Poisson. I was very interested in the inverse function because uh, often when you do calculations that involve uh, confidence intervals for the mean, or confidence intervals for the standard deviation, or when you do confidence interval for regression coefficients, you want to know your intervals, you use uh, either like the normal or standard t, and sometimes the uh, f distribution. So uh, they are available now, and you can wave to legacy tables for these uh, dist inverse distribution goodbye. Two simple example, an uh, inverse normal uh, distribution function. Uh, for a mean uh, of uh, zero, standard deviation of one, and uh, a probability level of 75%, you get 0.67. And for an inverse student t distribution, 50 degrees of uh, freedom, and 95% confidence, you get uh, 1.67. In the matrix uh, commands, menu, you have the uh, create sub-menu, uh, and you have a variety of ways of creating functions. The first one is the generic, create a menu, uh, create a, a matrix and with uh, specified numbers of rows and, and columns. You can create an identity matrix, you can create a random matrix, and then a couple of esoteric matrix. I was also interested in the Vandermond this will build a matrix that you can easily use for polynomial uh, interpolation or calculation of a polynomial that fits in certain uh, uh, data points. And here's the Vandermond. You give it an array uh, of points and it returns a matrix. The first column is always ones. The number of columns and rows equals to the number of values in the array you give. The second column is basically it copies the value of the array you gave it, and then the, the third column is the value squared. 
that you gave. A random mat uh, requires that you specify the target matrix. I'm using here the predefined matrix M1. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I want the matrix with, with three rows and three columns. Rand mat returns a random uh, matrix with integer coefficients between minus 99 and 99. Now, you can scale that range, but if you do, using matrix commands, you will end up with a matrix with uh, fractions. To scale it up and end up with the integer value, you have to go, uh, you have to take the integer part of every uh, uh, element in the matrix. So there's a little bit of work uh, involved there. Uh, another set, the basic submenu in the matrix menu, you have a couple of ways of uh, doing the norm. And the condition number, you can also do the rank, trace. The condition number is very interesting. It's uh, a little bit difficult. It's defined by the, uh, the norm of the, uh, 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 the norm of the matrix divided by the norm of the inverse matrix. And that's a little bit of calculations. The condition number of a matrix gives you a feel of how well or ill conditioned the matrix is. Uh, uh, suitability to be used in solving uh, linear equations. Low condition number means it's well suited for solving uh, linear equations. A high value would indicate that uh, it may not work well uh, if, if it's involved in solving a system of linear equations. Uh, if you remember the RAND mat that I generated earlier, if I uh, apply the condition function, I get 4.4, and that's Somewhat okay. Lower values would be better. Um, the norm, if, if I apply the norm to the same matrix M1, it appears as an absolute value and gives me a value. Norm values are usually used to in optimization or iterative solutions of uh, lin large linear systems and kind of gives you a level of error uh, involved. So when you're using the norm, you want to minimize uh, uh, that value. Uh, in, uh, oh, uh, uh, another sub uh, menu in the matrix menu is the factorize and has uh, very uh, powerful factorization functions. Uh, now the LSQ is the least square function found in the HP 50 in the 39G2 and the January issue of HP Solve this year I had uh, four articles Richard put where uh, I used the LSQ to do uh, various types of uh, linear regression, like best curve fit, best polynomial curve fit, and so on, and like uh, uh, relative error, uh, relative error uh, v square uh, regression. Uh, we have the LU uh, factorization, and then the QR, sure, SVD, and SVL. Uh, the QR, SVD, R can handle more difficult cases. Uh, here's an, a simple example of applying the LU decomposition on the matrix M1. The, the, it gives me tri uh, three matrices, the lower triangular, upper triangular, and the permutation uh, index matrix. So what you see here is the lower triangular. And the next slide I've uh, scrolled, you see the upper triangular and the permutation uh, index uh, matrix P. And at the bottom of the uh, math uh, functions, there's the special menu with the, the special functions that uh, uh, Cyril uh, mentioned them earlier today. And you have the beta, gamma, psi, zeta, error function, complementary error function, exponential integral, sine integral, and cosine integral. And those were found, most of them, if not all, in uh, like the HP 65 uh, uh, math facts. <coughs> Here's a sample uh, of applying each function, just I chose arbitrary value to, to, to use. Uh, gamma function is, is very interesting because uh, uh, it saves you a lot of calculations. And I've always implemented the error exponential sine and cosine, but never actually used them. Just uh, it was fun implementing them on various machines. The CAS set of functions has the solve menu with several uh, solve submenus, and pretty much 
you're solving uh, the roots of polynomials or equations, and uh, 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 the prime supports solving uh, multiple nonlinear equations, although the documentation doesn't include any examples, and I hope they do in, in future versions. Here's examples of solving polynomials and functions, and the, the prime has a, a complex version, like C solve is the complex version of solve, and C zeros is the complex version of the, the zeros, and then there's the numeric solve also. I will take uh, an initial value so you can uh, tell it, uh, inform it the vicinity of where you want the, your roots to be. Uh, in the polynomial menu, there's the special submenus, and it shows you special uh, uh, polynomials. Of interest to me is uh, the Hermite, Lagrange, Laguerre, Legendre, and the Chebyshev, the two Chebyshev. Of course, I noticed that a good number of them are French, but uh, named after French mathematicians, and I figured nothing for Chinese mathematicians or, or, or Latino mathematicians or even an, maybe a Syrian mathematician, like, you know, something like the Assad function. <laughs> but then I figured, well, the Assad function would call the Chebyshev function a lot. So like, hey, you know, <laughs> not, not an impressive implementation. Uh, of course, uh, mentioning orthogonal functions that are used in uh, Gaussian quadrature, I got a hate uh, email from Gauss, and uh, he did not like uh, me dragging his name into it. <laughs> Here's an example. Uh, it's interesting. If I type Hermit 5, uh, 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 the uh, CAS system responds by returning the fifth order polynomial of the Hermit uh, pol uh, polynomial. If I include a second argument, it substitutes x for that argument. And then with a the click of simplify, I, I get the, just one point, uh, the hmm. result of evaluating that uh, polynomial at x equals 1. Uh, the cas uh, functions also have the calculus menu with various submenus to differentiate and integrate and do limits and series. And uh, the machine is very powerful there. <clears throat> Here are examples, simple example, differentiate natural law, you get one of x, integrate that, you get uh, lin of x. And then I tried like lin of natural log of x over square root of x. And I got a little bit uh, interesting uh, result. I clicked simplify and I got a simpler expression. Uh, when I tried it with the Casio 400, the new one, uh, I got uh, the final result uh, directly. Uh, one of the things I've noticed, and uh, despite the HP Prime packs a punch, but the Bessel functions were missing. And just as my gut feeling, it's like it was all or nothing. And they could have implemented uh, the Bessel function integer orders, first kind, second kind. Those would have been enough, but it seemed they felt they had to do everything or not enough. Uh, also missing uh, and never implemented before, Bernoulli numbers and Bernoulli polynomials, very difficult to calculate. And they would be greatly appreciated in, if they are implemented in, in future versions. Uh, uh, they're too hard to calculate. Huh? I said no, they're too hard to calculate. They are very complicated to calculate, yes. Yeah. Well, um, again, an homage to Breaking Bad. Uh, uh, Vince Gilligan, the, uh, uh, the executive producer and the main writer of uh, Breaking Bad, is a native of Richmond, and he was in town. And my second stepson, who was a chef, ran into him in his restaurant. So uh, my son and I are celebrating the last two episodes tomorrow and next Sunday. So hope you watch it. Thank you. Thank you.